just briefly uh, for a voter, and I've had a few calls regarding this. First process is to uh, utilize the avenues we have to apply for a, an absentee ballot. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, as I will use that word, then once we go through our process, uh, then we have to send a file to the state. And yeah, then the state is fulfilling then the mailing of the actual ballot. Yes, and the applications, the applications were mailed by the state to all the registered voters. Right. Then, then the registered voters sent those applications back to us either by email, fax, or, mail. or uh, mail. through the mail. Then once we process them, then it goes into a file at the state, which the state has contracted with Runbeck, which is a, they do all sorts of election services. It's a company out of Arizona. Then the ballots are actually mailed from Arizona to, to Georgia. And to the, the May 19th election date is still on those ballots. That's something that the state, um, that was a decision that was made up at the state with regard to why they didn't change, with regard to how, why they didn't change the election date on the absentee by mail ballot is something of which we're unaware. And a lot of people are confused by the fact that the state didn't change the date of the election. And I'm unsure why. And I know somebody asked that question earlier. 